there's something about dance and movement that captures an experience beyond verbal communication. Dance sometimes was the only thing that was moving when everything else felt like it was not. We have a lot of stories to share and dance can be a really wonderful platform to do that. Elnana Diversity Dance Company is a queer positive multiracial dance company. We perform our stories on stage and create greater access for our communities to access dance education as well as performance opportunities. Ilnana operates as a collective and that's really, really important for me because it means that all of us can bring all of the skills that we have into the room and then figure out how to move from there. Ilnana wants to represent the city that we live in, in Toronto, where you can walk down the street and see lots of different cultures and lots of different body types and those are the stories that we want to see on stage. Right to Dance Two Month Intensive is a program where 10 LGBTQ people are mentored in dance technique and choreographic mentorship so that they have the tools to share their story. We're not telling them what to do, they are doing what they want and then performing that. When we list the identities that come into this space, most folks are coming in with more than one of those. I have grown up always looking for images of myself or images I can relate to. I always remember like that one time I saw that Asian person that was awesome, got to like be the lead or got to kiss someone or wasn't just like a stereotype. The core values that Right to Dance goes upon is that everyone has the right to dance and it's about figuring out the ways that dance can work for you. And so we start to have conversations around like, how do we do this piece if I had to do it in a chair? Or how do we do this piece if my body really hurts today? Or if my stomach can't do that thing? Um, and so we started to create choreography that had flexibility. Dance institutions have created a hierarchy of bodies, of who gets to be on stage, who doesn't get to be on stage, which bodies are valuable. I think that's where it becomes really inaccessible. If you apply to a dance school, there's not even like a place to check off a box to have more options than male, female. And it, because those roles are so based on that dynamic, it's like, where would you exist if you're like a trans person or genderqueer or gender fluid? Like, so the things for the three of us that are similar are things around um, gender. And what I mean by that is like gender construct. I'm often seen as strong and then I hear my voice and then there's like this reaction to my voice. For me, there was a lot less investment and I was very much invisibilized and told over and over like, weak, not strong. Oh, you can play an animal role. You can be in the background. I describe dancing growing up as like a love-hate relationship and I think those things that I hated about it I also internalized a lot so there was like lots of body shame, self-esteem, feeling like I had to make myself smaller. When people are taking up space in dance and movement who look like us and who have the identities of us it becomes even more powerful because we're not seen often. Often when you see people of color, queer people of color, under the gaze of someone else, their full self is erased, their romance is erased, their culture is erased, their history, heritage. So a lot of radical work is happening here, but um, a lot of people don't really know about it unless they're standing in front of you and you tell them about it. Basically when spaces like Right to Dance or Il Nana don't exist, what ends up happening is there's a huge loss of stories, uh, humanity, and of really great art. Dance seems like it chooses you. It's like these people that choose you and tell you, are you good enough to be here? We don't believe they get to pick if we're allowed to be here. It's our choice to be here, and we get to choose how it works for us.
Help TVO create a better world through the power of learning. Visit TVO.org and make a tax-deductible donation today.